Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and I'm a member of the Call Fire Solutions team. And right now I'd like to walk you through a common situation that you'll run into when you run a campaign and you see that its status is finished. Let me direct your eyes initially to this campaign at the top of my finished and stopped campaign lists on my campaign's dashboard. I want to show you two things. First of all, look at the column that says total. This campaign is finished again and you see total and dialed. So the total is six, and the number dialed in this campaign is five. And you might be wondering why those two numbers don't match. In a campaign, in a list that you upload for a campaign, you might have numbers that appear twice on a list, and thus they'd be scrubbed if you're scrubbing for duplicates. You might also upload a list that contains some numbers that are on your internal call fire do not call list, and those numbers would also be taken off. So some people occasionally will call in worried that the total dialed does not actually uh, match the total numbers that they uploaded. So this is nothing to worry about. It might be that the numbers were scrubbed. Uh, the status is finished also. So another thing that people call in wondering about is they want to start a campaign that's finished. They want to restart it to redial some numbers on the list. Now you won't be able to do this unless you either A, upload a new list of numbers, or B, create a subset campaign. And in almost every case when people call in saying they want to redial numbers on the list, they don't want to redial the whole list completely. They want to redial a subset of the list. So right now we're going to create a subset of this campaign that I ran so we can redial numbers that we didn't get to actually speak to live on this campaign. So I ran a cloud call center campaign at the standard level. So I was calling in to people. I wanted to speak to them live. I wanted to give my pitch for uh, insurance, for example, perhaps. So I didn't get to speak to everyone. You'll see uh, on the dashboard, five were dialed, three went to live people, so three people answered the phone, and two went to answering machines. I want to redial the answering machines. And if there were any no answers, meaning uh, calls that went to phones that didn't have voicemails or that were busy at the time, or that were errors or some other result, bad result that I, I don't want, I want to redial all those. So right now let's create a subset campaign. The first thing I'm going to do is put a check in this checkbox to the left of the name of the campaign. Then I'm going to go up to the campaign control drop down menu and I'm going to scroll down to create subset campaign. Then I'm going to click go. So now I have two options. I can use the current campaign format, the current settings, meaning I would use the same sound file for the answering machine message and the same script, same multiple choice questions which is what I want to do because I just want to run the same campaign trying to redial the numbers that I didn't get to, the people that I didn't get to talk to on the original. So I'm going to click on yes, use the current campaign format, and now I get to choose the different dispositions, the different results of the calls that I want to redial. So I want to redial everything that went to an answering machine, or no answer, or errors, anybody, anything but live answers, because I've already spoken to the live answers, I want to have a chance to speak to everybody directly, so I want to choose each of these dispositions that are not live answer. So I'm going to click on the checkbox for busy to include busy numbers, answering machine, no answer, errors, not dialed, abandoned calls, miscellaneous. That's everybody that I didn't get to talk to. So now Callfire is going to build a subset of my original list based on the results of the calls in the original campaign. So all I need to do now is click on create subset, and we're going to go back to the campaign's dashboard, and we'll see that we have a new campaign. At the top of our list here, we see finished campaign subset. That is a copy of our original campaign but with a subset of our original list, a subset of only the numbers that includes only the numbers that were not spoken to live by me on this campaign. So that's that. That's how you create a subset campaign. Now we can start this campaign. You'll see the status is stopped. Now I can start this. Now it's running and I can log into it just like the other campaign.